It was Margaret Thatcher who made the key observation about charity in her famous analysis of the parable of the Good Samaritan. He wouldn't have been much used to the chap who fell amongst thieves, she noted, the Good Samaritan, if he had not been rich enough to help. Britain is competing in an increasingly impatient and globalised economy in which the competition is getting ever stiffer. And no one can ignore the harshness of that competition or the inequality that it inevitably accentuates. And I'm afraid that violent economic centrifuge is operating on human beings who are already very far from equal in raw ability, if not in spiritual worth. Whatever you may think of the value of IQ tests, it is surely relevant to a conversation about equality that as many as 16% of our species have an IQ below 85, while about 2%, but anyway, 16% of well, you want to put up your hands? 16% have an IQ below, below 85, but 2% have an IQ above 130. And the harder you shake the pack, the easier it will be for some cornflakes to get to the top. And for one reason or another, uh, boardroom greed, or as the people in the boardrooms assure me, the natural and God-given talents of, uh, of, of senior executives, the income gap between the top cornflakes and the bottom cornflakes is getting wider than ever. And I stress, I don't believe that economic equality is possible. Indeed, some measure of inequality is essential for the spirit of envy and keeping up with the Joneses and so on. That is a valuable spur to economic activity. We may not have gunboats anymore as we did in the days when we invaded or conquered 171 members of the UN, but we hardly need gunboats anymore because we are already fulfilling what I think of our destiny as the soft power, the soft power capital of the world. And that, to conclude, is very largely 